Okay, so here's the setup for the torque experiment. I'm just going to show you guys um, uh, the, the actual setup of each step. And then in the other video in Canvas, we'll, I'll show you how to do the calculations and you can finish the worksheet. Okay, so the idea is that we have a meter stick, right? And we have a fulcrum stand and a fulcrum clip. So right now I have this fulcrum clip right at the 50 degree centimeter, uh, 50, sorry, 50 centimeter mark. So if this was a nice uniform piece of wood, you would expect that if I put the fulcrum right on the stand and let go, that it would balance. But you can see that it doesn't. So what that means is that gravity, earth pulling down on the stick, it must be pulling down on the stick over to the left of the 50 centimeter mark. That point where gravity is acting, we call the center of mass of the stick. So the center of mass of this meter stick must not be at the 50 centimeter mark. And the reason is what we did is we drilled some holes in the end of this meter stick and put some nails in there. So what that's done is that shifted the center of mass from the midpoint to the left somewhere. So the first thing you're supposed to do for part one is you are to find the center of mass. And the way we do that is we move this fulcrum until we get balanced. Now, you'll, I'll give you, or you will have the center of mass. Your instructor will give you the center of mass in your worksheet. But I want to show you guys that you can find it by moving the meter stick around until you get balanced, sort of like that. So that's definitely to the left of the 50 centimeter mark. Okay, now, if you look right here at the forces acting on the meter stick, we have gravities pulling down on the meter stick at the center of mass, and upward, we have a normal force from the, uh, the fulcrum stand. And those two forces, gravity down, fulcrum, I'm sorry, normal force up at the fulcrum, they're going to balance each other, and neither of them are giving us a torque about this center point. Okay, all right, so the next thing you're to do is in part one is to move the fulcrum to 55 centimeters. So we have, I've done that right there. And if I put this on, again, the stick goes down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna balance this with one of these hanger clips and 100 grams. So I'm gonna grab 100 grams. Whoops, that's a 50. Here's a 100. Now, I do need to know the mass of this clip because the mass of the clip plus this 100 grams is the total mass that's gonna be applied to the stick. So in our experiment, we have a couple, uh, three clips that we use. You guys would weigh these right, individually. You'll, get, you'll be given those masses. So I'll get the scale out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna take my clip and 100 grams, and I'm going to put it which side do I have to put it on to get balance? You guys remember riding seesaws, yes, on the playground. I think I'm gonna have to put it over here somewhere. So with this clip, hold on, my set screw needs to be loosened. Here we go. All right, so I'm just going to find where balance is. And it's right around there somewhere, pretty close. Okay, now, knowing where the center of mass is, how far that is from the fulcrum, knowing how far this new gravitational force is from the fulcrum, we'll be able to balance torques, as you'll see in the video on can in Canvas, and you guys will solve for the mass of the meter stick. Okay, so in part one, you'll have data where, so you can solve for the mass with the fulcrum at 55, with the fulcrum at 60 and with the fulcrum at 65 centimeters. And then you can average those three masses to get an average mass for your meter stick. Okay, so that's part one. Now in part two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the fulcrum back to the center of mass. So let me see if I can get that balanced real quickly. So that's right about there, okay? And in the first part, what we're told to do is we're told to hang 200 grams, 15 centimeters from the fulcrum. So I would take 200 gram mass with the clip and I would put it 
15 centimeters from the fulcrum. And I'm not going to measure this exactly. Just assume that that's about 14, uh, 15 centimeters. And then what we're going to do, we're going to balance this with 100 grams over here. So experimentally, we're going to find the balance point with 100 grams plus this clip mass. Okay? And what you guys are to do is you're going to find, calculate what this uh, lever arm should be, this distance right here. Okay? And then, uh, so you can do that calculation. Again, in the video in Canvas, we'll go through how to do that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put uh, two, uh, another mass on the left side and then rebalance. So there you'll have to deal with three hanging masses, okay? Um, but that's, it's just an extension of what you did with two hanging masses. And then the last thing you do in part two is you're going to take a known mass and set it a known distance, okay? So, um, in fact, what you're told to do is take, um, Here's our unknown, it's just a lead mass. You're told to put this 25 centimeters from the fulcrum. Okay, so let's say that's about 25 centimeters. And then what we're going to do is we're going to balance that with 100 grams over on this side. Okay, so, ooh, that was almost perfect. There you go. So this is really just a repeat of what we've done earlier, but this time what you're going to do is knowing these lever arms, and again, you'll be given this data, and knowing this is 100 grams plus this clip mass, you'll be able to solve for the unknown mass over here. And I do want to point out in part two, the reason that we have the fulcrum back at the center of mass is the normal force, right, is acting this way, the weight of the stick, earth pulling down on the stick, is right here, right at the fulcrum. So by having the fulcrum at the center of mass, we don't have to worry about torque coming from uh, earth pulling down on the meter stick. Okay? And of course, we don't have to worry about the torque coming from the normal force since it's acting right there. But this does lead us to part three, which is a neat variation. In part three, what we're going to do is we're going to take 200 grams at the 20 centimeter mark. So imagine I take 200 grams and I put it right at 20 centimeters. Okay? And then you're told to take, let's see, 100 grams and put it at the 80 centimeter mark. So here's 100 plus my clip right at the 80 centimeter mark. Now if I let go, this is not going to balance. Experimentally, what you're told to do is find out where the fulcrum has to be. So if I loosen this fulcrum clip, right now it's at the center of mass, I should be able to find the new fulcrum position where I achieve balance. And it's right about there. That's pretty good. Okay, so experimentally, this isn't too difficult. Whoops, it moved a little bit. You can read this right there where it's balanced, right? The challenge is, can you actually solve for that uh, using physics analytically? And we'll go through the calculation on how to actually determine that fulcrum position. But again, you'll receive the worksheet with given data, and then you guys will have to finish the analysis. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye. Okay, good.